Greetings, my name is Kim Braswell and I am representing chemistry. Our chemistry labs is a platform for us to use the art of story sharing as a way of finding connection between each other, between our stories and belief that we can heal together if we create spaces that are safer and braver and more courageous. So we are on a little experiment, a little mission this summer with a new series we have called Family Meetings. And this is gonna be our new series inside of Chemistry Labs. And in these family meetings, we want to have conversations that can be a little bit taboo in our own blood related families, right? So we're finding something interesting in our, in our work that we're doing. There is a difference between our blood family and then chosen family members. And sometimes there's chosen family members where we're able to have or recreate healthier relationships than we were in our own blood families. So we wanna talk about all of this, right? We wanna create a space where we can stop avoiding these conversations that we need to have and just lean in and just get better and do the work. So we invite you to join us. We're going to start experiment with this series, these family meeting series inside of Chemistry Labs this May, June, and July. So in May, we're going to start out with a conversation that's really thought, looking at mommy issues, right? So inside of this, this may include um, daughterhood, sisterhood, and parenthood as a mother, right? Motherhood. And then in June, we're going to look at sonhood, brotherhood. We're going to look at fatherhood and any other kinds of issues that really belong to the daddy issues that we sometimes have and we don't get to talk about. And then in July, we're going to wrap up this brief series by looking at just family drama. And there are some times when we're trying to get better, but the family might not be. And sometimes the only way to get well is to create boundaries. But what does it look like to create a boundary with someone you are blood related to? What does it look like to get free? We're at least free-ish from the drama that's happening in our own families, right? So we know this for sure. We know epigenetic trauma is real. We can pass on trauma inside the families. We at Chemistry, we like to break that cycle. And one of those is healing and to really do it right and to get in, we got to get into the mess of the issues. And so we're going to see uh, what happens with these, with these chemistry labs. Again, not therapy, not therapeutic, but we believe that there's a healing component in a sharing our stories. So say the date if there's something in here that appeals to you. We hope that you will register to attend. These are private conversations, so we will ask you to register so we can send you a private Zoom link. And until then, we hope that your uh, authenticity is contagious. We hope to see you soon. Word is bond.